Friday morning and time for these ladies to rush to their weekly knitting and crochet class. A hot cup of tea, a bit of gossip and small talk. And it's all part of these women participating in a big cause in their community. These ladies say they aim to knit and crochet 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela in time for his birthday on the 18th of July. But at this stage, it looks like they could produce up to 100. This idea started last winter time when I heard from people that I work with um, that a few people have died of uh, cold exposure here in Blickensdorf. And that is really not on for, for a country like South Africa. We don't even have snow here, so that, that's ridiculous. So we started the knitting program. We've got about 35, 40 women knitting. The idea is for the women to uh, have their own, their first blanket that they can take for themselves and then a second or third or fourth blanket they can donate to other people in Blickisdorf that they know that will be cold in the coming winter. This project allows the people within the community to actually produce the product through, through the resources we bring in themselves for their own community so that they can donate their labor, you know, and their creativity and the care and affection that they have for their community through the time they spend knitting blankets. Many of the women in this knitting group say they live in desperate poverty and are broken and abused. But knitting or crocheting a blanket for somebody just slightly needier than them has brought them an unexpected sense of comfort and healing. I was very depressed and I didn't have family or anything. And this people in Blackistore that knit with you, we understood each other, they help you, they talk about it, the issues, we help each other, we motivate, empower each other and encourage each other. Not also the knitting, but also encouraging is, 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 is very important here. This knitting uh, that we're doing here for Blackistore, is there so many people here that haven't got blankets. And now we decided that we have to share this blankets with the people that is here, especially the people who's in wheelchairs. That sometimes they said they're very cold, and now we decided it's a good thing so that we can knit this blankets, so that we can provide those people that in need of the blankets. The only stitch I used to know is this one, but I'm no longer knowing this. I'm so inspired, I, I can make my own blanket now and I'm proud of that. I feel uplifted and I feel it's a good thing, especially for the elders, the older women and older men out there uh, to, to give an old man or old woman a blanket. I feel from the bottom of my heart to give them a blanket. Maybe love they can feel from this blanket from me to them. Further down the line, the Blankets for Blicky's project hopes to start selling knitted goods so that these women can start generating income in order to start improving their lives. When it all come, CCTV, Blicky's Dorp, near Cape Town.